When I uh, came this time, the only thing I had in my head was I chose a subject. I thought, I'll do the weather. I love the idea of the rain as it hit the ink. It would make the ink run. The moment I'd thought of the idea, I couldn't resist it. As the prints grew, their subject matter, which on the surface is the weather, but the other subject matter is really the weather drawn, because in each one, the problem was not just making a representation of the weather, but how to draw it. I couldn't quite figure out how to do wind, make a visual representation of wind, because normally wind only shows itself, the effects of wind only show itself. So I, I kept thinking of palm trees <laughs> bending and everything, and it all seemed just a little bit corny or ordinary or something. And it, I was stood on the beach at Malibu one day, and I, suddenly a piece of paper blew by, and it suddenly dawned on me, oh, I'd simply do all the other prints I've done blowing away across Melrose Avenue. And I was able to present to David Hockney a complete palette of color. And knowing how David draws, also a complete palette of drawing techniques. The thing is, um, first of all, anybody who draws on plates or stones, anybody would soon find out that it's uh, much better to draw on a stone. It's uh, more responsive to what you do on it. Uh, it's somehow, uh, it's just much more sympathetic. Lithography is autographic. Every nuance, spit, fingerprints, dirt from the roof, anything that falls on that stone or is placed on that stone is capable to go to ink, to go to paper, and therefore live. subtle range from very, very pale to very dense is quite difficult to achieve in lithographic chalk. Some new thing Ken has found that will pick up all these different feelings of tone. It's unlike any other mark in printing. The Xerox powder. Uh, which, of course, reacts to heat. Obviously, the, something or the gas warms it up and seals it or something, then he etches it. But you couldn't draw with all those tones with ordinary um, lithographic crayon. He's taken one step further by making the Xerox powder into a crayon. Did you put the gas on it? It's fixed. It's fixed? Yeah. And so this is going to go wherever your, your drawing was. Oh, you can only buff it once. Yeah. There's no other way of doing this in the fabric guide way to imitate that kind of falling debris that comes from drawing. A lot of the abstract expressions just want to get a feel of something down, a feel of color, and how they make the marks is not nearly as important. Just write over there on the side what colors you think everything ought to be. Black at the moment. 